Yeah, I'm making this video, whether you like it or not. All right, all right, everyone in the back, let me yell it out for you. Blocks Roots is me. Yes, yes, you heard me say that correctly. There are so many problems with this game that I'm actually gonna cover it in a video because I can. Uh, there's probably some Block Shirts fans in the middle like, ah, what are you talking about, Block Shirts? It's a good game. Just get to max level and you'll understand. No, you're incorrect. Whole life assumption is incorrect. Okay? And if you say that one more time, I will destroy your entire existence. <laughs> oh yeah, Block Shirts is, uh, is dull. Extremely. Boring. Mid. Trash! Dummy! Now, why am I insulting Bloxroots so much? Well, I'm gonna make a list of things uh, of why Bloxroots is one of the worst games known to man. Basically, Bloxroots has a few, a few problems going on that everyone's pretty angry about. Well, most of people are angry about, but they just don't seem to care, do they? Because they keep playing the gosh darn game. Okay, first of all, uh, the overpowered fruits. Like, uh... Kids soon users. <laughs> Could they get some nerves, please? They're just a tid bad annoying. Just a, just a teeny weeny bit annoying. They like scruffle my feathers a little bit, you know? Not, not too much. Just a little nerve. Please! I'm begging! Okay, so yeah, the fruits are the problem. Another one is, um, oh, I don't know. The updates that never release. You guys remember when they said they were gonna release Dragon on Christmas? Hey, Dragon me, Rework? Goku! <laughs> it's April! Guess they did a, a super early April Fool's joke on us, didn't they? No? Just me? Okay. But uh, yeah, but the devs never keep their promises. Ever. Ever. They're all liars. They are lazy, and they know they can be lazy because people play the game and buy Robux for the game, so they're... They're millionaires, multi-millionaires, millionaires, whichever one it is, because they're definitely rich, all right? They're rich beyond belief. Literally promised us that when update 20 dropped, they would do weekly updates. Every time I'm in the street, I hear... I mean, I think they did weekly updates for like one week and then just gave up. I think anyway, I don't, I have, I don't even remember. That's how long ago update 20 is. We're on like update 22 or something. Yeah, two updates passed by. And you know what those two updates were? What was it? Update 21. 21. <laughs> that one up added what? The the rework of the, the, the ghost fruit. We got a rework of revive. And a super small event. Incredibly small. Like the stupid haunted ships. Who cares about that, bro? It was so irrelevant. And then the next update, which was, I believe, Kitsune. Which, by the way, they, they released Kitsune on December and not November, like, you know, they were supposed to release it on November, not December, but, you know, it's another Bloxroot lie. Oh, uh, yeah, Bloxroots has been getting very lazy lately, and I'm just trying to say that if they don't keep it up, I, eventually, they are going to, you know, die down. We already got amazing games coming out like Rel Seas and Holy War X that are already looking a thousand times better than Block Shirts and already play a thousand times better than Block Shirts. So if Block Shirts doesn't start like actually fixing their game and making it better, they're gonna lose their players. They already have. Like Block Shirts used to get like 600, 700k. Basically they lost 200 to 300k players already when the update dropped they got 800k and they lost all of that you know what they said in update 20 they said we were gonna get they, whole map reworks it was gonna look so good and i was gonna make a whole block Street series about that but they never did that because they're lazy Let's see, what did I cover? Uh, the fruits need nerfs, and the, the devs need to keep their promises. Oh, and also, how about adding update? Mostly adding updates frequently. That's 
That's literally the second point. No, that's not the second point. Update the game! That's what they need to do! Like, add stuff to the game. It can be minor stuff as long as it's frequent. Like, maybe every month they can add one fruit. You know how much better the game would be? You know how much more YouTubers would be happy? Like, add fruits to the game. Add something to the game. The only thing they update is the seasonal stuff. Like, they weren't even in the hunt this year. And honestly, I can see why. They weren't. They probably weren't going to do anything for the hunt. And if they did, it probably would have been like, oh, find the eggs somewhere on one of the islands. Or something lazy like that because they're lazy. Yeah, that, that's just one thing. Let's talk about the fruits. Uh, oh, oh, let's see. Uh, uh, of course, I already made the freaking point of Kitsune. Why is that fruit so brain dead? Leopard? I mean, me personally, I have way, uh, trouble with leopard because, like, I don't know. I guess I'm just bad at the game. Probably, maybe. Uh, maybe leopard's fine. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Dragon. Uh, and also, dragon didn't need a rework. Why are they giving reworks to fruits that don't need it? Dragon? Really? You know what would have needed a rework? Control, which I don't know if it's getting one anymore or not. Oh, uh, let's see. Gravity. That would have been a great rework. Pain, which why I don't know why they called it pain, but whatever. Pain would have been a great rework. Barrier, that would have been fire. Rubber, literally could have re, uh, not not maybe not rework, but like give it a an awakening, you know. Shadow's fine. They should probably buff it because I think it only has one Ken breaking, so it's fine. Okay, they need to nerf Doe. Like honestly, make it so some of the moves of Doe don't break Ken, and make the hitboxes way smaller than they should be. And honestly, if they do that, I think Doe would be just fine the way it is. T-Rex is fine the way it is. Like it's pretty difficult to land your combos with T-Rex, so it's fine. Mammoth, oh my gosh, bro. I don't know if they did do an update or not. I, I actually don't remember because like. I haven't played the game for like two months, but like they need to add more Ken breaks to Mammoth. I think it only has one Ken break. I could be wrong and I'm not going to do research on it. So someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Rumble is fine the way it is. It's like one of the most skilled fruits in the game. One of them, not, not including pain. Portal. Oh my gosh. How, what, what do I even have to say about this stupid, dumb, dumb, dumb fruit, bro? Bro. Give the last move, the dimension move that takes you to another dimension. If you don't put more cooldowns on that move, put cooldowns on that stupid gay portal move. And also make it time based where you can only be in your dimension for a couple seconds so people don't camp there 24 7. What a great, what a great nerf, guys. That Wouldn't that be great? Put me on the boss roots team already. Also, the C move that teleports you to anywhere around the map. Make it so you can only teleport to islands that are close to you instead of like to the to the end of the universe. To the other side of the planet. Like it's so dumb. The only reason I'm not saying to get rid of that mid-combat is because uh, someone, one of my followers made a point earlier that, you know, peaceful players, which... What kind of peaceful player has portal, am I right? But peaceful players would get jumped and they need a way to escape, which... Honestly, I don't care about them. Like, don't use Portal then. What peaceful player uses Portal? Like, get out. Phoenix, honestly, make it so the, the friggin' flight move is also timed. Like, I swear, because so many of these is infinite, basically. I mean, Portal, the dimension isn't infinite, but, like, it drains your stamina, like, a centimeter every minute. I swear, bro. It's ridiculous. So Phoenix, they can just camp the air for like infinite universe. They should at least make it so if they're low or if they're at a certain HP, like, I don't know, 30% HP, then they can't use that move anymore or they can't use it for a long time. Because I swear move. I swear. What am I saying? I Phoenix is just dumb. I hate Phoenix. Buddha, easy solution. Make it so in PvP, Buddha's defenses or whatever it's called gets lowered when you're in combat because you should only use buddha in my personal and most humble opinion use it when you're grinding that's literally the only reason you should use buddha if you use it for pvp you're disgusting okay barrier is just a garbage fruit that needs a rework like all the moves are trash all of them for rubber it's not a rework it needs it's an awakening bro 
and like it ha already it already has gear two. Like give it gear three, four, or five, and it'll be like so solid. I don't know how they would do that because how are you gonna make rubber have gear? So having gear three would be stupid. Like what? Your moves are just gigantic size. That would be dumb. So honestly, awakened rubber should have either gear four or gear five, or one of a uh, gear four bounce man or snake man. Hey, Tank Man would be pretty cool addition too. I don't know why no one adds that, but I don't whatever. Or Gear 5. Like, that's really a... Any of those would... Awaken Rubber would be fire. Light is fine the way it is. It's the only fruit in the whole game that if you're low HP, the F move is slower. Probably because it's one of the fastest in the game, but whatever. And I think all the other fruits are fine the way they are. They're, they all have their ups and downs. Like, Ice is pretty broken if you, like... Your opponent stays in the ground but if they're not on the ground then uh good luck fighting them like i'm telling you the game would be so much more exciting imagine getting a fruit every month you know how hyped that would be you know how many more people would play block shoots if that were the case i know i would i would i would play block shoots like all the time then at that point but yeah that's just my yap session of uh today's video uh thank you all for watching this video if you all agree that of my yap session leave a like down below and subscribe you know you know please do that please do that and yeah, I'll see you all guys again next time. Bye guys!